I hmm. always had this right side kind of leaning in pain. I have no pain any longer. Mm -hmm. No knee pain, no back pain, no shoulder pain. I can run like a beast now. I'm really big on tib raises. I start, I warm up with tib raises. Training the tib front- Tib raises meaning like the front, tibialis anterior, yeah. like you dorsiflexion, fall. raising your toes towards your knee. So this is a huge addition. My program, I'm a huge fan of Ben Patrick, knees over toes guy, mm -hmm. as he calls oh. himself on Instagram. I started doing tib work about two years ago, seriously doing tib work. So tibialis raises, you can do this also leaning against a wall at an angle with your back against the wall and your feet out in front of you with your heels on the ground and touching your toes to the ground and then lifting them up for repetitions of 25 to 30. Or if you can have a tibialis, a tib raise machine as they're called, that's great. I warm up with tib work, why? Training my tibs as they're called has- Tibs of the new biceps, Tibs of the new, <laughs> definitely makes the calf work more effective. Mm -hmm never could grow calves or get my calves strong gotten them you know substantially bigger and stronger by training tibs but more importantly perhaps helps posture got rid of my right side sciatica i hmm. always had this right side kind of leaning in pain and i can for me anyway i can run like a beast now. Hmm. no knee pain no back pain no shoulder pain i can just run and run and run and so the training your tibs turns out to be key and it turns out it has everything to do with the bring your toe We'll avoid jargon here. Bring your toe closer to the kneecap as you generate your stride. Right. Not having the floppy right. feet. A lot of people who run are smacking their feet against the ground. Totally. You know, Ben cued people to this. Tib work, okay, tib work is great for the calves. It's great for the knee. It's great for the hip. That's all very clear. And I think just a lot of people have overtrained their calves yeah. and not balanced it out with tib work. It would totally. be like doing a lot of bicep work and not a lot of tricep work yep. or a lot of quad work not a lot of hamstring work. So you have to work both sides of the limb. And tib work has changed everything for me. Posturally, I have no pain any longer. I'm telling you that tib work is, is a game changer. And knees over toes guy, Ben Patrick is the one who's been teaching people that yes, everyone can dunk. Most everyone can dunk. He does like dunks into back bends and all this stuff. And it largely hinges on tib work and quality posterior chain work, like things like Nordic curls.